Shalom, family. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you. From Yahuwah, our Father, and Yahusha, the Masha Yah, the one that carries the burden of Yah, his voice, our King. Hear, O Yeshua, Yahuwah, our Mighty One, He is One. This is Brother David coming to you again to bring you a report. The renewed moon was spotted and confirmed the evening of September 8th, which will make your Shabbat, your Sabbath, for this whole month on Thursday. Hmm. Do you see that word spotted? That means you have to actually see it, doesn't it? Yeah. Everything is by observation. How did ancient Yasharo do it? Did they have computers? Hmm. No. So what did they do? They went out to observe. When they observed it, in one place they blew the trumpet and the trumpet would reverberate throughout the whole kingdom and everyone would know that the new month has begun. Let's look at some sightings. Here we have our brother Dash. He spotted the renewed moon at 8 p.m. I love this picture. Look what he captured also in the picture. See the star to the left pointing you towards where the moon would come out? Absolutely beautiful. And he's in California. Then we have our brother Melville, Infonet Studios. He's in the Caribbean. He spotted the renewed moon at 7.36 p.m. And he sent us two photos. Here's the second. Look what he captured also in his picture. See the star to the left, up top? And the lunar event towards the bottom to the right. The brothers are taking control. It's a beautiful thing. All of you, all of my brothers, my sisters too, but mainly the head of the household, you should be out spotting the renewed moon every month to make sure that your family is on time with Yahuwah. Let's go to the law. Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 24. Anytime you're reading this book, reading comprehension is a must. And the only way that you can have reading comprehension is to go line by line, word by word, so that you can understand. You've watched me over years break down the passages like this. Speaking to the children of Yeshua, who is he? Who's the target group? Who is he speaking to? Only one group of people: the children of Yeshua, the covenant people. Saying, "In the seventh month, how do you find the seventh month? Well, you first must find month number one, and then you count." Seven, and you're in the seventh month. But what if you added a 13th month? <laughs> you're in the eighth month, correct? I mean, it's simple addition, isn't it? Look what comes next. In the first day of the month. In. So sometime in that 24-hour period, in that first day 
of the month, he says he wants you to have a Sabbath. How many Sabbaths? Two, three, four, no, one, a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of the trumpets and holy convocation. Hey, Brother David, didn't we already go through this? Yes. Now we're going to look at the opposition. The Father has done something spectacular this year. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what he showed me. The Jews start their Feast of Trumpets on Monday, September 6th to September 8th. Let me say this again. They start their Feast of Trumpets from the evening of September 6 to the evening of September 8th. How many days is that? Two. How many days did the law say you are to keep this memorial? One. So why do the Jews have two days here? Is there two first days of the month? Well, according to them, the answer is yes. Because they don't do with a sighting. No, that's not what they deal with. They deal with astronomical calculations and conjunctions. But today in your hearing, their astronomical calculations and conjunctions have got them into trouble. So they have two days for the trumpets. You're only supposed to have one. Look at IUIC. Their date for trumpets is Monday, September the 20th. It starts on the 19th into the evening, into the 20th, into the evening. Brother David, why is their date so much later than the Jews? The Jews start from the dark moon and IUIC says that the full moon on day 15 is day one. I know it's crazy, but that's what they're teaching their people. Look at the calendar in the sky so I can show you what our father did for us. He wanted to show how foolish the Gentiles and those who follow the Gentiles are. September 6th is a waning crescent, 0% illumination, and that evening it was dark. Why did the Jews choose this day? Why didn't they choose September 7th, which is their actual conjunction day? Well, because they started from the first dark moon. Why, why did they do that, Brother David? They were confused. The Father has sent a spirit of confusion. So they chose unwisely. That's why they have two days. So they started the sixth in the evening to the seventh in the evening. That's one day. The seventh in the evening to the eighth in the evening is two days. Brother David, the eighth in the evening. We just spotted the renewed moon. That is correct. You can't mistake it. 
Not like the dark moon where you can have two and the full moon where you can have three that look full every month. There's no mistaking first light. Comes out of darkness, comes into the light. That is day one. So they started two days before the waxing crescent. What about IUIC? Let me tell you something. They used to start from the new moon, which is the dark moon. Did you guys know that? And they switched because people began to pay attention. And they said, you're starting on the same day as the Jews. This is about observation. You're supposed to see something. So instead of them going to the crescent, where did they go? They went to the full moon. Because they said the moon is full. You can actually see it. That was their rationale. They bypassed Yah's way and created something out of the imagination of their mind. Now we come to Brother Kuya's calendar. It has been a major help for all of us on this channel to keep up with Yah's days. Brother Kuya has put in the work. He explains everything here. It may look complicated, but all of your explanation is on the left-hand pane. Okay, let's start with the Jews. I'm going to show you something. The Jews start September 6th. Identify September 6th. It would be in red on Pope Gregory's calendar. You see it? It's on a Monday. All right. When do they end? September 8th. Go two days over. You'll see they'll end at the beginning of the lunar month. What did he say? Did he say the 30th day of the month? Did he say the 20th? Ninth day of the month? He said the first day of the month. In the first day. They got two days there. <laughs> no light has been seen. No observation. Only astronomical calculation. And they're going to end their day of trumpets at the beginning of the eighth month. Wow. Go back to day six. I want you to do a count. Count 15 days. You should come to day number 20 in red. Still in September. That would be the beginning of the Jews Feast of Boobs. It would be the beginning of IUIC, their day of blowing the trumpets. Did you notice something? Both of them are on Monday. What does that mean, Brother David? In order for both of them to be on Monday, they must have the same starting point. Remember, the moon has to grow in its light to become full. Mm-hmm. On the 20th is a full moon. On the 21st is a full moon. On the 19th, it looks like a full moon. You have three days that are going to look full. Which one did they choose? The one in the middle. All right. So IUIC says that the 20th day of the month, which is equal to the 15th day 
of the month on the lunar calendar, they're going to take it and turn it into no science, no astronomy, no nothing involved, just the imagination of their mind. They're going to say that that is day one. Count 15 days from day 20. Tell me where you end up. You end up on day number four in October in yellow. See it there? Okay, so from the sixth to the fourth is 30 days. IUIC is going to begin their count or their Feast of Booths, you know, the first day on day number four. Let's go to the sky calendar. Here's a question for you. Does a lunar month have 31 or 32 days? Answer. The most that you can say that a lunar month has is 30 days. 29.58 point blah 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 blah. Because the moon has a deficiency. It's a little shorter than a solar day. So 29.58 blah 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 is considered to be a 30 day month. Got me? Look at your calendar. We started our count on Brother Kuya's calendar from the 6th. We counted 15 to the 20th. Then we counted 15 to the 4th. That's 30 days. October 4th. There's some more days in the month. Identify for me on this calendar that's in the sky the conjunction or the dark moon if you said October 6 you were right brother David I can see it that would be 32 days before their next month begins. Who did this again? Yahuwah. Why? To show you that all of the people who you have been following before are nothing but liars. This proves it. IUIC is stating that their Feast of Booths is going to start on the 4th, you know? Look at the evening of the 4th. Is there any light? No. Still waning, 5%. What about the 5th? The evening, is there any light? The evening is always on the right-hand side. Do you see any light? No. It's a waning crescent, 1%. The month hasn't even ended yet. Then October 6th would be the dark moon, the conjunction moon, the restart point. That'll be the 30th day of the month. But because they chose wrong from the beginning of the prior month now they have two days to deal with which they cannot account for which proves the only starting point to find Yah's day is the slither of light you know the waxing crescent one half 
of a seventh part equals one fourteenth part of light. Every fourteenth part equals one day. In fourteen days, the light becomes full. They've bypassed all of this information to deal with astronomical calculations and conjunctions and then now something very ridiculous full moons do you remember at the beginning of the year at Passover in the Feast of Unleavened Bread I showed you IUIC they added a 13th month to the calendar the Feast of Unleavened Bread is seven days. They only gave you six. We counted it over and over again because we couldn't believe that they could possibly make a mistake like that. I mean, it's only counting, isn't it? There's something wrong here. There is demonic activity here. And the Father has raised up this channel. I have not seen another like it. To combat the lies of all of your enemies, even your own brothers and sisters. Now, if you don't understand what I'm Showing you here, immerse yourself so that you can understand. Brother Kuya, I know right now you're probably turning up and down all around. Brother Dash, I know you're saying, oh my, 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 here we go again. Yes. The Father spoke to me maybe five years ago and told me that the Sabbaths and the feast days are wrong. He told me to go out and to observe the lunar event. He told me to compare it to the book of Henuk. And I did what he said. I learned everyone's position. I follow the lunar event in the sky every month. I see deception every feast day and I convey what I see to you so when you come here you're not dealing with a conspiracy theorist or someone who just hates the Jews or IUIC I'm showing you through pure academics pure knowledge pure lunar events that they are all liars. Shalom.